is up guys welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new here my name is Kat and for today's video we are doing another installment for our crystal series we will be unboxing a package from love aura so I have two um, two boxes from love aura and before I forget don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't and hit the notification bell as well so you guys get notified every time I upload a new video. So first off, I am going to be unboxing the smaller one, the smaller package. Um, one thing that I love about her packaging, they smell so good. <laughs> she always puts in um, incense sticks and it ends up making the box smell so good. Okay, finally opened it. Okay, let's see what we have here. So this is what the box looks like. See how she personalizes each box. And I love that she always includes a note as well. And it's so nice because sometimes like her, her notes are perfect for what you're going through right now. I don't know how she does it, but she has that ability, I guess. So yeah, this is from Denise. Okay, so we'll start with the bracelets. And then we'll move on with the tumbles and, and then towers. So these are the bracelets. The first bracelet that I got from her is a Zebra Jasper. Next up, we have an Evil Eye um, bracelet. Evil Eye is said to protect its owner from evil spirit. Protect against jealousy and the ill will of others. So it's for protection. Next we have Oralite, or what they call Oral Oralite 23. The reason why it's called such is because it is an amethyst with 23 different elements or components, part of this piece or crystal. We are going to move on with the cubes and tumbles. So I have a few here with me. Okay, so first off we have a moss agate um, tumble. This is what it looks like, and like I said, I'm very drawn to Moss Agate. Next, we have a Mukite Cube. Love it. I love the color. It kind of reminds me of caramel and, yeah, caramel color, caramel sundae color. Um, I also want to thank Sir Dell for this because he was the one that gave up this piece so that everyone could have a piece of Mukite. So thank you, Sir Dell. So this is what it looks like up close. As you can see, it has like its caramel finish on it. Very nicely polished. And it's got a bit of yellows as well. And then next we have Blue Lace um, Agate Tumble. This is very unique because um, most of the Blue Lace that I come across have a very vivid um, color to it. So this one's very faint, but very pretty and very unique so this is what it looks like up close and as you can see there are like many pockets and look at this design here this pattern next we have a fossil coral um, tumble so i love that you could see the, the patterns on this one, um, the patterns of the fossil on it, or the coral. Now I love how most crystals have a story behind them, like some take thousands and thousands of years, even millions of years to form, and they come out like this. So yeah, this is fossilized coral. Aww. Next is this pendant. I think this is, is this lodolite? I'm not sure if it's a garden quartz but it also has rutile in it so see that it has like a garden um, formation inside the crystal and if you look closely enough you could actually see some golden hairs or golden rutile I actually don't know if I purchased this but this might be a freebie I'm gonna have to ask um, Denise about it but yeah it's so pretty this little piece Next, we have, um, I'll start off with this one. This is a clear quartz cluster. 
So, oh, this is a clear quartz cluster. And I love how they're very tiny um, points on here. They're like babies. So this is what it looks like up close. Then next, let's move on to the towers. And I have a mini fluorite tower. I got on one of her sales. So this is, this actually has a bit of teal, green, and purple in it. I'll try to get the pattern for you guys um, up close, but it's a very pretty piece. So this is what it looks like. So fluorite is great for concentration. It is also one of the crystals um, which you shouldn't expose to sunlight because it fades, the color fades when exposed to direct sunlight. And then next we have Caribbean calcite. So you've got the blues in there. And then you've also got some grays in here too. If you guys notice, I'm so into um, patterns. See that streak there, it cuts across diagonally. And then next we have um, this crazy lace agate. Now one side is mostly red and then the other side is yellow. So crazy lace is also known as a happy stone. Like This is what it looks like up close. And as you can see, it's got red patterns on there, very nice banding. And then when I turn it around, it's yellow. Same thing, has nice patterns as well. And then next we have Ocean Jasper, and again with the detail. I love how this is split in two. So one half is purple, and then the other is more of like a mustard colored kind of um, uh, stone. And then it's divided by this green um, streak throughout uh, through the crystal. So very, very nice, very unique. So this is what it looks like up close. Um, I got this unique um, Kambaba Jasper. So it kind of looks like crocodile eyes or its skin sort of. But yeah, this is also known as Crocodile Jasper, hence the name. Um, so yeah, this is Kambaba Jasper or Crocodile Jasper and it's got many eyes on this one and I like how there are hints of um, yellow on this as well. Very unique. I, I haven't come across a Kambaba Jasper that's got another color to it. So Kambaba Jasper is um, said to pertain to the heart chakra and it's also an environmental stone because it is also said to help plants grow. It is also said to attract prosperity. So that is it. Oh no, wait, so there's one more. This piece is super, super pretty. So this one is a small piece, but very, its energy is very evident. So this one is called an eagle eye. And if you look closely, it's a play of blacks, dark blues, and grays. And yeah, this is um, said to be great for protection. So we are done with the first box. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, this one I know there are going to be uh, two pieces that, are, that I have been eyeing on or waiting for its arrival. Oh. 
in again. Um, not sure if you can see it, but also has very nice personalized touches. Um, it has this. Ooh. Aw, Denise, thank you so much for giving me this little Buddha. Okay, we are going to start off with this one. This, this chunk. It's a rock. I'm just kidding. Um, this is a raw, uh, raw and semi polished um, labradorite. Uh, I'm gonna try to get its flash. Oh, there you can probably see it. There you go. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get its flash on camera up close, but this is what it looks like. And then next we have two Mexican agates and I've been so drawn to these agates as well. Um, aside from crazy lace and moss agate and all the agates available, this one really catches my attention because of the, pa because of the patterns as well. So I got two pieces of Mexican agate. This is the first piece. So as you can see, it's more of red and oranges and it's got like white banding on it. Look at that pattern. And then this one is the back. And then the next piece that I got is this one. It's more of like a neutral um, pattern. Um, yeah, and the color scheme is very muted. So this is the Mexican agate up close. And then the rest of the contents in this box are ocean jasper. Yeah, I'm very, very drawn to ocean jaspers. There's something like, it's like the ocean calling out to me. <laughs> very calming, very grounding. And it's like, it makes me happy, this stone. So yeah, this is it. This is an ocean jasper heart. Um, what drew me to this was this like mustard-ish color. It's got mustard yellow, browns, blacks, and greens. So it's going across the whole piece. It's like it's got it's got like um, stripes across the piece, diagonal stripes across the piece. There you go. Kind of looks like a bumblebee, Jasper, but not quite. Okay, and then. Last but not least, I got two spheres, both ocean jaspers. Now the first one being this one. This one is very, very calming. The, the energy is very calming. Maybe too because its colors are mostly on the creams and blues. It kind of reminds me of Earth, almost. So this is what it looks like up close. And you see how there are Partly um, blues, creams, um, like a mustard sort of brown across it. So it kind of looks like the earth from, I guess you could say, the moon. <laughs> the moon's point of view, sort of. And then the next ocean jasper that I got. Very unique because it's got like a very nice um, druzy on it and it's also got natural pockets so very attracted to this one. This one is another ocean jasper mostly on the um, browns on this one so this on this one so this is what it looks like up close and you can see the detail and the pattern Never alike. One and two are never alike. So as you can see, there are many pockets. And then on the top, or the tip top, you, you can see like a portion that is almost cream. Very, 
very, very pretty. Look at that sparkle. That is it for my unboxing from Love Aura. And yeah, thank you guys again for joining me on this one. I will be sure to link her handle down below. Please do give her a follow if you can. Check out the pieces that she has in store. Usually she'll have a stock drop um, every week, if I'm not mistaken, every week. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well and the notification bell so that you guys get notified every time I upload a new video. So you guys, I will see you in the next one.